Welcome to Celestial Chronicles, where we explore the myths and legends of ancient Greece. In this episode, we will tell you the story of how Hercules, the son of Zeus, defeated the Nemean lion, a monstrous beast with an impenetrable hide. It is the first of his twelve labors, a series of heroic feats that showcase his strength, courage, and cunning. The Nemean lion was a fearsome creature that terrorized the land of Nemea. No weapon could pierce its hide, not even the arrows of Apollo, the god of archery. Its roars were so loud that they shook the earth and the sky. The people of Nemea lived in constant fear of the lion, and prayed to the gods for a hero who could save them from its wrath. Zeus, the king of the gods, chose his son Hercules to face the lion. Hercules was a demigod, born from the union of Zeus and a mortal woman named Alcmene. He had inherited his father's immense strength and bravery, as well as his wrath and lust. He had also incurred the jealousy and hatred of Hera, Zeus's wife and the queen of the gods, who tried to make his life miserable at every turn. Hercules set forth with his club and a lion's skin as a shield, and ventured into the Nemean wilderness, where the lion had its lair. He followed the tracks of the beast, and soon found it resting under a tree. He approached it stealthily, and launched a surprise attack. He swung his club with such force that it broke the lion's skull. But to his astonishment, the lion was not dead. It got up and roared, and charged at Hercules with its sharp teeth and claws. Hercules dodged its attacks with agility, and tried to strike it again with his club. But he realized that brute force alone was not enough to kill the lion. He needed to use his cunning as well. He noticed that the lion's mouth was the only vulnerable part of its body. He decided to exploit this weakness, and thrust his arm into the lion's mouth. He grabbed its tongue, and pulled it with all his might. He wrestled the lion to the ground, and strangled it with his godly power. He finally killed the lion, and ended its reign of terror. Hercules then decided to skin the lion, and create a cloak out of its hide. He thought that this would be a fitting trophy for his victory, and a useful protection for his future labors. But he found that his knife could not cut through the lion's skin. He tried to use his club, his teeth, and even rocks, but nothing worked. He was about to give up, when he had an idea. He used the lion's own claws, which were sharp enough to pierce its hide, and skinned it with them. He created a majestic and impenetrable cloak, and wore it proudly. He marked his first triumph of the twelve labors, and returned to his cousin Eurystheus, who had assigned him these tasks as a punishment for killing his own family in a fit of madness induced by Hera. Hercules's victory over the Nemean lion spread his fame throughout Greece and beyond. He solidified his reputation as a hero, and a champion of the people. He also set the stage for the epic adventures ahead, as he faced more formidable foes and challenges in his quest for redemption and glory. He became the greatest hero of Greek mythology, and a symbol of courage, strength, and cunning. He also became the inspiration for many stories, artworks, and movies, including this one. Thank you for watching Celestial Chronicles, and stay tuned for the next episode, where we will tell you the story of how Hercules slayed the Lernaean Hydra, a multi-headed serpent that grew two new heads for every one that was cut off. Until then, goodbye and happy myth-making.